Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, we're taking a look at a beautiful Russian figure today. This was actually one of the very first dragon figures that I ever wanted. Um, I started collecting, uh, it's been over three years now, and I remember this was one of the first dragon figures that I saw. Um, and I just thought he looked so, so cool with the leather jacket. Um, you know, I never really saw any figures like this before at the time, so this is one that really grabbed my attention and um, it took me a long time to get him. He's very rare and he's hard to get for a good price. I did pay a hefty amount, so, but definitely worth it. Um, I've been wanting him for so long, so. Um, his name is Alexei Petrovich um, Komarov. He's from Berlin, 1945. He's a Soviet NKVD officer and he is a captain. But just take a look at that picture of him. Um, if you're into Russian figures, then uh, this is a must-have. He is so awesome, especially that leather jacket is something else. Hey, here's another picture on top of the box of him. Another neat pose there. And then here's the back of the box for you. This one came out in 2004. And considering he is a little older, uh, the detail is just really good on him. So let me bring him out. Here he is, guys, all geared up. I just think he is so beautiful. Really happy to finally own this one. He was in my top 10 video, actually, of the figures that I really wanted. So I got him finally checked off that list. Just so much detail on this one. All right, well, um, you can see he's holding a PPSH 43 model. And get some cool poses with that. Let's just take a look at this up close. All right, so we got a pretty nice strap on there. Pretty durable clip. Uh, the clip falls out uh, a little easily, so you got to really jam it in there. Um, it does have the folding stock, which is pretty nice. I like that a lot. And then you can also uh, pull this back. So nice detail on that. And in his other hand, he's got this little booklet here. Probably a propaganda type thing. Um, this is really good though. I mean, you can turn each individual page. So excellent detail on the little booklet that he's got. Let me just put this in his hands. You can get a look at him holding it. Okay, so there he is, holding it. Now the strap's kind of in the way there, but uh, you get the idea. Looks really nice. All right, uh, next up, let's look at his hat, his officer peaked cap, that's what it's called which is super awesome. Um, I love the colors on there, the blue and the red. And then of course you got the, uh, the Russian red army symbol there in the front. Uh, but I think they did a good job on this and it fits really well on his head. And the head sculpt is really unique on this one. Uh, he's got a very interesting expression. You can see his teeth. Um, but yeah, just a really interesting head sculpt. I've never really seen one like this. It always kind of stood out to me as being different. Um, but I think it looks good. It's cool. All right, moving on. Uh, let's take a look at some more of his equipment here. So uh, it doesn't come with a whole lot of other stuff. We've got this uh, bag here. 
across his sh uh, shoulder. And then his belt is really nice. Everything fits uh, really well. We've got the strap in the front there and coming along the back. That looks really nice. We've got his water canteen. And then he also comes with a pistol and a holster, of course. Let me just take that out. <clears throat> And uh, nothing, you know, nothing too impressive here with the pistol. Uh, the clip comes out. And that's pretty much it. So not too impressive, but and he doesn't hold it all too well either. So, but uh, there's a look at that. Like, like I said, doesn't hold it really well. So, But yeah, I think the major attraction here with this figure is obviously his leather jacket. Um, this just looks beautiful on the figure and it fits really well. Um, I just really, really love this. Can't stress enough how cool this is. Um, you do have to be careful, at least with my one, some of the buttons were falling off, I guess, because of age. So I did have to kind of gently glue those back on. Okay, you also have to put on these uh, shoulder tabs, which are really cool. And underneath his leather jacket, you can kind of see, um, you can see his tunic underneath of there. And then his pants, which are also really nice. They're like a blue color. And then on the side, we've got red, uh, red stripes coming down. And then got the boots which are also really awesome. All right, guys. Um, I think that's everything to show for Alexi. Overall, really a fantastic figure and one that I highly recommend picking up if you're into the Russian figures. Um, this one's awesome. And even if you don't really like the Russian figures, you know, I still recommend getting this one. He's, uh, I think one of the best russian figures you can get in my opinion uh, just because the leather jacket is awesome and i think he really just looks super unique so um good luck finding him though he is a tough one to track down so thanks so much guys for watching as always i will see you in the next review